Hi, Shadana Schaefer. I wanted to give you a prosperity meditation. So I want you to sit in a calm place, sit in Indian style, sit in a chair where you can sit for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes and concentrate on allowing the energy in that will allow you to accomplish your goals. So it'd be a good idea to set a goal of what you want out of this meditation so you can focus on that and watch later what would come out of the meditation. Expect good things to happen. Expect what your goal is to come true. So close your eyes and take two or three deep breaths. Fill your chest and your stomach and then blow out the air that would be in your chest and your stomach. Just take one more deep breath and breathe in. Fill your chest, fill your stomach and hold it for just one second. And then breathe it out and allow yourself to hear your breath come out. While you're breathing in and breathing out, you are feeling that tingling sensation in your head, in your neck, in your chest, in your stomach. And when you're breathing out, you're taking all of the unwanted energy that you would want in your body and you're pushing it out into the room and allowing the universe to take it and convert it into something good. So as you're thinking about going in and cleaning out that energy, you're cleaning out what would stop you from accomplishing your goals, be it be fear, the past of things that were not accomplished. What we would consider a failure is really just information. We look at it as what the truth of what it is. You breathe in that divine light, that all-powerful light, that light that can heal all things, that light that can diminish the darkness, that light that makes goals come true. So go into all the small crevices of your body of your spirit and pull out those things that are unwanted, those things that you need to push out of your body to accomplish your goals. Once again, look at it as the truth of what it is, an illusion. The mind is powerful. Allow your mind to know the truth that all things are possible. That this goal for spirit and for the universe is simple and it will be accomplished. Let your subconscious mind that know that it will be accomplished. So I want you to open up your hands, open up your consciousness, look up into the universe, see the vastness of the universe, feel the vastness of the universe, have your consciousness look up and allow all the possibilities into your consciousness to see a glimpse of how wonderful, how vast, how all-powerful things are beyond ourselves. Whatever that goal was, whatever you're attempting to accomplish, let it rain on you like drops of 
gold. He drops the silver. He puts the money, allow that money to just rain on you. Make yourself attracted to it. It's to be healthier. Allow your cells to be changed to a point where you attract healthy food. If it's to have a better relationship, allow yourself to open up and change on a cellular level to be more receptive, to be more understanding, to be attracted to love. Allow yourself to feel that, to feel the tingling on the surface of your skin, to let spirit bleed in and heal all things that would stop you from being where you need to be. Just take a moment and breathe deep in that sweet, wonderful presence. Go back in one last time with an energetic shovel and clear out all those things that thought that they could hide and fester until everything was gone and grow and clear out the little infinitesimal seeds that could cause havoc. and calm those places with that sweet energy. Breathe that sweet energy in and let it fill your entire body. And let out any little thread that needs to go out to the universe. This divine presence is always with you. Know that your hands are powerful, that your mind is powerful, and that just with one touch of your hands, you can feel that presence at any time, at any moment. Anything that you're doing, Open up your heart chakra and allow that excess energy to flow out into the universe. Let it be an attractive force for prosperity, for love. Stay open to spirit. Let them stay with you always. Open up your, move your consciousness to your feet and reach deep into the earth and ground yourself to stay in this moment and in this time and let spirit worry about time. Let that divine presence that is everywhere at every time be concerned with guiding you exactly where you need to go and what you need to do to walk the path of prosperity. So reach your consciousness into the crown. Allow yourself to be one with Mother Nature, to absorb everything that you need physically and mentally. And when you can feel your consciousness being one with Mother Nature, just sit for one moment and know what that feels like as well. Know what it feels like that everything is taken care of for you. You can trust 
that everything's taken care of for them. You can walk in faith. On this calm moment, once again remember that with one touch, wherever it is needed in your life, outside of your life, that you are always protected and loved. And allow yourself to come back to the room and walk in faith and love. Once you've had the opportunity to come back to the room, remember to spread that love and that security and spirit around each and every moment of every day. Everything that goes out comes back. Whatever you project out comes back to you. You want prosperity project prosperity onto others. I hope this helps and I, I want you to watch your goals unfold before you over the next three to ten days and be happy that you are walking in divine light. Thank you for your time. Namaste.